All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Quick Burt Games. We cover everything in the LEGO series created by TT Games. This time we're playing LEGO Star Wars, the video game, the original game for 2005, it's kind of celebrating the 15-year anniversary of the game. And uh, so last time we finished up episode two, so we're done with episode one and two. I played Gunship Calvary, which is apparently like the worst level ever, but I didn't think it was that bad replaying it. Uh, and then we did Count Dooku, which was a pretty easy level, and we got True Jedi in both of those levels. So this time we're doing episode three, Revenge of the Sith, my favorite Star Wars movie. And uh, we're going to be playing a couple levels here. So chapter one, Battle Over Coruscant. Let's do it. Story mode. So episode three, Revenge of the Sith. And uh, chapter one, Battle Over Coruscant. So we actually saw, actually I'll, I'll tell you guys after this. Uh, the Republic is crumbling under a Separatist assault led by Count Dooku and General Grievous. And the stunning move, Separatist forces have swept into Coruscant and kidnapped Supreme Chancellor Palpatine. As the droid army attempts to flee with their hostage, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker lead a desperate mission to rescue the Chancellor. Alright, let's go. So we got, we're going to get a cool cutscene here, if I remember correctly. And, uh, so we got open space. This is like one of the best openings to a Star Wars movie ever. Like, Star Wars movies always begin in space, but, man, Episode 3 had a really good opening, because you had this cool Jedi starfighter battle with uh, Obi-Wan. So there we got the new Episode 3 model of Obi-Wan, which I think looks a lot better in this game, because he doesn't have that ugly looking headset piece that he has in this game for some reason and all right so here we go so this is a cool oh wait man these controls are like inverted can i change that reverse up and down wait do i want to reverse it let me see okay yeah this is what i want yeah yeah okay so it's already reversed by default i'm just reversing it from what they had oh yeah like there it is you can reverse the controls on the options menu huh there you go so I think for this level, uh, like we might try to get all the mini kits in this level just because we can in, in story mode. Uh, you don't need free play. Free play doesn't do it. Actually, I guess this level doesn't even have free play, does it? In this version, I don't think it does because there's no ships, right? I'll have to look into that. I don't think there's any free play because you can't change your vehicle in this level. Alright, so there we go. You gotta destroy those five targets to kind of open up this uh, ship here so you can fly through it. This is one vehicle level I don't mind. Like, a lot of the vehicle levels in these older LEGO Star Wars games and these older LEGO games in general are kind of bad. They're not as fun. But I don't know. In this game, it's, it's, this, uh, this particular level is not bad because it's all on rails. You, you don't really control where you're going for the most part. And uh, basically, you just keep spamming the shoot button. And uh, you'll pretty much be good to go. Try to target those ships flying around because every one you destroy gives you studs. And then target the mini kits too. The mini kits really aren't that hard to get either. If you miss one, you can always just replay the level. Um, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It's a pretty good level. And I think it uh, it represents the scene in the movie pretty good too. So what I was going to say before the text scroll happened, uh, where the intro text uh, happened, I was going to talk about how this le this level kind of leaked in Skywalker Saga. So like there was like, it was my first video I ever put on the channel where we talked about... Uh, this level kind of leaking so like in TT games gave like a, tu a tour of their studio and uh, in the background at one of their computer monitors you could see them uh, building a mission uh, basically creating the level for the invisible hand in episode 3 I even I even think it said like invisible hand episode 3 or something like that if you don't know the invisible hand is General Grievous ship that we're about to land on here at the end of this level uh, but yeah, that pretty much leaked, and so I think they're going to combine this level, this Battle Over Coruscant level, and the next level, I think they're going to combine that into like one big level in the Skywalker Saga. Of course, it won't be the same level, they're redoing everything from scratch, obviously, but I think uh, I think that's what's going to happen. Oh man, the frame rate just dropped a little bit, a lot of explosions. My Xbox couldn't handle it. So on the left right there is actually where the red brick is, but no red bricks in this game. This game predates Red Bricks, that's how old this is. There we go, mini kit number nine. We're about to get all ten mini kits for the first time. I think this is the only level that you can do it all in story mode. Well, you could probably do it in that uh, uh, gunship cavalry level too, I imagine. So I don't think that level has free play either. Alright, there we go, we got true Jedi status, not too bad. Just destroy enough ships and you'll be good to go. And fun fact, this level is actually like one of the best levels. Uh, there we go, all ten mini kits. This is like one of the best levels to uh, grind for studs, so if you're playing like Complete Saga, especially. I guess maybe not so much in this game, but Complete Saga, if you're low on studs, just turn on those stud multipliers. If you have them, or if you don't have them yet, just 
play this level a whole bunch of times and you'll get a whole bunch of studs. It's crazy. I think you get more studs in that game than you do in this original version, but I could be wrong. Alright, so that's it. That's it. That's the end of the level. Not too bad. This level's just like a few minutes long. And there we go. That's it. That's the end of the level. Just a really brief cutscene to end off the level there. And there we go. We got the super kit piece. True Jedi. But it doesn't say True Jedi. And we actually got all of the mini kit here, so this will be interesting to see. I think it gives you a whole bunch of studs if you get all 10 mini kit pieces like it does in all the modern LEGO games as well. And boom, there we go. Look at that. We're going to need all the studs we can get. I will take it. And all right, let's continue the story. We're doing two levels in this in this video, just like last time, so should be good. All right, Chapter 2, Chancellor in Peril. So uh, here we go. High above the planet Coruscant, a deadly battle rages between Separatist forces and the Army of the Republic. On the Separatist flagship, Count Dooku and General Grievous is... Uh, and General Grievous hold Chancellor Palpatine captive, crashing their Jedi starfighters into the main hangar. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker are surrounded by hostile droid forces. Sweet. Sounds exciting. I think we just have a brief cutscene here. And... Ugh! I mean, they they missed, like, the best part of that scene. Like, if you've seen the movie, like, when they, when they kind of crash land into this ship, before their ships even, like, stop moving, they, like, do this epic, like, force jump outside of their ships and, like, take down a whole bunch of droids. It's a really cool scene. But they didn't do it at all in this. I bet in Skywalker Saga they'll do that. There's going to be, like, a cool scene or maybe even play the scene in some sort of quick time event or something. And they're going to have this, uh, they're going to have that scene. I just feel it. So we know sometime last year they were, based on that leak I was talking about, again, you can watch that video on my channel. It's the f oldest video on the channel. But we know they are working on this probably like last summer, summer 2019, maybe even before that. Probably around the time of their E3 reveal is when they were working on the level for this for this area of the movie. And look at there, we got General Grievous there with his nice cape. He doesn't have a cape in the Clone Wars game, does he? I can't remember. I feel like he doesn't. But I could be wrong about that. All well, those things give you quite a bit of studs. Here we have these security droids that you guys told me in the comments. The red ones. So very cool. You know, it's it's kind of cool that they pay attention to detail like that because they could have just uh, like the enemies could have just been regular droids like throughout the whole game, but they actually had some variety there, which was cool. And there we go. Cool. Moving on. I like how before you walk through the door, like the doorway just has like a JPEG image of like what the next room looks like. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, there we have a commander droid there, I think they're called. Uh, which had to take two hits to die. There's a mini kit up there, but you can't get it because you need a blaster character to grapple up there. That's kind of how they lock a lot of the... Uh... Okay, we have super battle droids here. Which I don't think their color is too accurate in this game. They're like too light blue. They should be more silver. But again, I think it's based on what the LEGO sets looked like at the time, so... It's not really TT Games' fault there. <laughs> you gotta get that blue stud there. And all right, let's move on. This is a pretty cool level. This is one of the, one of you guys were telling me this is like one of the longest levels in the game, but I don't think it's longer than a level coming up uh, in episode three. And especially not retake the palace. That retake the palace level is ridiculous. Because retake the palace, it's like huge. And it, uh, the each room is like really big. So if you're trying to get, well, Jordica over here, I don't remember that. You doing, Jordica? Get out of here. Like, each room is huge, so if you're trying to get, like, true Jedi status like me, it takes forever to go around the whole room, and, uh, whoa, a bunch of studs there. And back behind, I feel like there was a mini kit behind there in Complete Saga. Maybe not. Can't remember now. It's been a couple months since I made that mini kit guide. There we go, destroy that. And here we go, destroy this. So, fun fact, um, actually learned this recently. So these little tunnels here that we're walking through, uh, there was actually, these aren't, don't appear in the movie, but, uh, those were originally going to appear in episode three, Revenge of the Sith. They're like, if you want, if you have the, uh, Blu-ray, any of the Blu-ray release, or maybe even the DVD, I'm not sure. Uh, that was a deleted scene where they're crawling, Anakin and Obi-Wan are crawling through these little vents like that, whatever you call those, those little crawl spaces. And they ended up not making it in the movie, but it's, it made it in this game. So, which tells me, because uh, this game came out around the time Episode 3 came out. I think it came out before, even. I can't remember. 
That came out before episode three. I like there's R2D2. Sweet. Coming out of the elevator shaft. So which tells me when they were whenever they were making this level, this wasn't a cut scene. Like this wasn't cut out of the movie yet. Which is kinda interesting. So George Lucas or whoever, Lucasfilm, sent them un early versions of the movie. We're gonna do this here. See if we can't get any studs in here. Before they cut out some scenes, so anyway. That was kinda cool. Hey, we got a minikid in here, I'll take it. Why not? Let's move on here. I always wondered why Obi-Wan kind of had like red, red pants in this. Because his, I guess, are his pants kind of red in the movie? I guess they are a little bit, aren't they? They kind of got a brown color to them. They look kind of red in this game, though. They got a red hint to them. So we got a mini kit over here. I guess we'll get it. Why not? Man, we're almost got true Jedi rank. Man, true Jedi rank, man, for the most part, it's not really that hard to get in this game. At least not compared to newer LEGO games. Again, lately I've been playing Lego Batman 3, and it's like, man, I'm cutting it close on some of the, on some of the levels. Like, even, I'm destroying every single thing in the level, and you still cut it like really close. And of course, there's some Lego games like Lego The Hobbit. I was playing some of those levels. You can't even get true, true. Uh, I think it's called like, what's it called in that game? Master Burglar, I think. That's what it's called when you get True Jedi. The equivalent. And uh, so they make it impossible to get. Uh, fill the stud bar in story mode in some of the levels in that game, which I don't like when they do that. Should always be possible in story mode without stud multipliers. Oh, here we go. So, have you guys seen my uh, top boss battles in LEGO Star Wars video yet? Should have a link to that somewhere in this video, I think. In the top right, maybe. That was a fun video. This, uh, this boss fight appears in that video. Spoiler alert. There we go. He doesn't have much health in this boss fight, though. They could have... I think they could def they're definitely going to expand this fight to make it a lot longer. I feel like there's going to be more teamwork between Anakin and Obi-Wan. And uh, overall, I could just see this boss fight going a lot differently in Skywalker Saga. Like, a lot differently. It's going to be a lot longer. There's going to be a lot more stages to it. I can just sense it based on how they... Based on just how they design LEGO games now. Like, it's just a lot different. Whoa! Did you hear Anakin's voice? His voice sounded awfully... High pitched. <laughs> it was like ah. So I think uh, I think the voice line of Anakin in this game. I'm not sure if it's like true for all the characters, but his voice actually is Hayden Christensen's voice, like the guy who played Anakin. It's like ripped straight from the movie, I think. But it sounded like they made it a little bit higher pitched, maybe, because that did not sound like Hayden Christensen. That sounded like they took Hayden Christensen's voice and just made it higher pitched. And we just got wrecked. Get that blue stud. And we almost have true Jedi rank. I think we'll be fine because we got the level's not over after this. Okay, let's just ignore those droids. Let's go after the count. Why not? Oh man, just lost both of our studs again. I like it when you when you lose studs and it's just two blue studs. Like it's so easy to it's so easy to collect. All right, there we go. And oh, get wrecked. They don't show it in a Lego game because. Is this rated E for everyone? They can't show that. <laughs> okay, let's take out all these super battle droids because they're kind of getting annoying here. See you, super battle droids. So in the movie of this part of the level, uh, Obi Wan is like kind of unconscious. So I wonder if they'll, I wonder if they'll adapt that into like a Star Wars or Skywalker saga. The whole thing with Obi Wan being unconscious, you have to like carry him or something. I wonder if they'll do that. That'd be interesting. Maybe one player is playing as uh. Anakin, the other play players playing as uh, Palpatine. Something like that. Right, there we go. We're almost at true Jedi rank. And look at Palpatine. He's got that little uh, skirt. Skirt legs, whatever you call that. It's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see here. Oh, look at that mini kit. It's not, not even behind a, behind a barrier. Just walk right in and get it. So here we have this cool train sequence. So I think right here, Skywalker Saga, there's going to be a cutscene. Yeah, I think this is kind of fun to do in this series, just to kind of predict what they'll do. I think you'll have this elevator sequence that'll be a lot differently, but... I think there'll definitely be a cutscene set, like, setting up this elevator sequence, because it's kind of abrupt in this version, isn't it? Alright, there we go, we got True Jedi status, not too bad. Hey, yeah, there's no way this level's as long as Retake Thief Palace. We're almost at the end right now, so yeah. Retake Thief Palace is ridiculous, man. It's like a modern Lego game in its length, almost. Alright, use the force on these little knobs. Get some free studs out of it. In case you haven't gotten your true Jedi yet. There you go, cut that off. 
Yeah, so far the hardest level to get True Jedi in has been the Darth Maul boss fight level. That level was intense. Because it's really easy to die. And uh, you have to be careful. Alright, so here we're going to fly under that little steam there. Pretty easy. For some reason the droids aren't affected by the uh, steam, but regular characters are. Who knew? <laughs> um, so here we go, we got another minikit behind there, but eh, we're not even going to bother. We'll collect the studs. And I think we need R2-D2 coming up, because he can hack into this panel right here. Yep, already knew it was coming. Alright, and here we go. So here we go. General Grievous, you're shorter than I expected. Skywalker, what does he say? What does he say? Uh, you Is this where he says you are a bold one, maybe? I can't remember. But there's a little bit of dialogue here, which we're going to get in Skywalker Saga, because we know it has voice acting. Da, da, da. And there we go, General Grievous gets the heck out of there. And uh, now we get to fight these mag- I think these guys are called Magna Guards. These guys are pretty cool. I like the way they did these guys in the uh, LEGO Star Wars 3. Like, It's like a little quick time event every time you fight them. I also like how their head pops off in this game. Kind of simulates what happened in the movie. So here we have a bunch of security droids coming at us. Get out of here. And now we just pull these switches. Oh, wait. One more security droid. There we go. Get out of here. Pull these switches. And that's it for the level. Sweet. And now we got a nice cutscene here. Da, da, da. Oh, pull the switch, Anakin. <laughs> Look how Palpatine jumps behind there. Oh, man. Palpatine's going to look a lot different in Skywalker Saga. They gave him, like, a different uh, hair piece. Like, there's, like, a more modern Lego hair piece that didn't exist at the time of this this game coming out. Look, there we go. There's Mace Windu looking a little bit different than he did in Episode 2. And there we go. That's it for this level. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi, parentheses, Episode 3 version. We got Anakin, parentheses, Jedi, but not Jedi Master. Because this is outrageous. It's unfair. And we also got Chancellor Palpatine there. But he's basically a completely useless character because he can't attack or anything in this game. Like, you can literally just walk around with him. He's a garbage character. I hope in Skywalker Saga, even though it's just Palpatine, like he's not in his Darth Sidious form, I hope he can, uh... I hope he can, uh, like, use uh, the Force and stuff like that. Maybe even use a lightsaber. That'd be cool. Because I know he used, like, a blaster in, uh... Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars game. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So that's the first two levels of Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So next time we're going to be doing Chapter 3, General Grievous, as well as the next level after that. And then we'll have one more video after that, doing 5 and 6. And that's going to be it for this uh, this whole 15th anniversary series. Then there is a, there also is a bonus level, I forgot to mention, which we'll be doing at some point as well. Maybe, maybe we'll have a bonus, like, 11th episode or 11th part to uh, do that. But... Anyway, that's going to be it. Be sure to subscribe to be notified right when those new parts come out. We're doing one a week, so should be pretty good. And like this video if you enjoyed it, if you learned anything new. Uh, kind of let me know how you think these levels will be adapted in the Skywalker Saga. And uh, yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. I'll see you guys next time.